going to be tough. You know, all my friends, they're gone from first year. No more friends. The class went from like 400. There's only like 40 people now. Ah, yeah, ah, including ah, me. Ah, ah, yeah. Ah. So I'll give you an example. My sister, she's a doctor. Doesn't have a job. She can't get a job. She has a, she's a medical doctor. No job. Uh, welcome back to Gift uh, Varsity TV. Uh, this is your host, Gift Bozekana. Uh, we are at uh, University of KwaZulu Natal. I'm with a student here. Hello, hello, sir. Hello, hello. How's it going? I'm great. Can you can you introduce yourself? Uh, my name is JV Pele. Yes. I'm a final year electronic engineering student at Howard. Final year electronic engineering student. So, which means you have much experience. Huh? You have much experience. Too much experience. Within, too much experience. Yeah, too much experience. Yes. Yeah. Let, let's take it back. Where are you from, like, originally? I'm from Durban, yeah, born and raised. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, which school? I went to a, a, an Indian school called oh, okay. Karastown. All right, yeah. all right, all right, all right. So, uh, why did you choose to study engineering? Or is there other courses that you wanted to study besides engineering? Well, I didn't want to be an engineer. I wanted to be a director for the movies. Yeah. Kind of like, yeah, like this. Yeah. Maybe yeah. the YouTube channel, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't fill my form. My parents filled my form. Yes. So it was engineering, law, medicine, pharmacy. That's it. Yeah. 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 So I just got accepted for electrical, electronic, and then I chose electronic. Uh, yeah. So uh, why did you choose to study electronics? Mm -hmm. Electronic over electrical. The one that you're doing currently. Hey, you know. I thought there was a lot of money involved, you know, and uh, I thought I could make it through. But when I came here, very, very hard, too hard. Yeah, it's too hard. Yeah. yeah. So did you apply only here at UKZN or is there other institution that your parents wanted you to study at? They didn't want me to study anywhere else because yes. of uh, cost of living. Yes. So I applied here and uh, I got in. Yeah. Oh, so you traveled from home to here. Yeah. yeah, 10 minutes away. <laughs> oh, wow, wow, wow. Yeah. That's, well, that's great. That's great. Yeah, that's great indeed. Okay. So tell us about your journey now in first year of uh, electronics here at Howard. How was it? Hey, it was the worst. It, it was, it was uh, you know, I came here from high school. I didn't know what was going on. Hey, I failed. <laughs> I'll be honest. I'm not going to lie. I yeah. failed. Yeah. Hey, and... Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm having PTSD over here. Okay. I'm having PTSD. Yeah, I failed, but I worked back. I'm here. I'm going to finish now. Oh, whoa, yeah. whoa, 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 whoa. So there's money in electronics. A lot of money. A lot of money in engineering, a lot yeah, of jobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. what can you do with electronics? I can go into any any uh, engineering company, one. Banks are looking for engineers. Data science companies are looking for engineers. Everyone's looking for engineers right now, mainly because we solve problems. And we're very technical, so yeah. Because of the analytical skills. Analytical that, side of oh things. yeah, the, because you. So what kept you going through your degree? What are the secrets that an engineering student that is watching us now that they need to? Uh, hey, they just have to push through. Yeah. It's gonna be tough. You know, all my friends they're gone from first year. No more friends. The class went from like 400. There's only like 40 people now. Ah, yeah, ah, including ah, me. Ah, yeah. Ah. So, in so, first year, you said in four, you were 400. There was 400 uh, computer, electronic, electrical. Yes. Now it's only about 40, 50 amongst the three. So, in my class, there's only about, there's sometimes there's 10 people. Mm, yeah. But what kept me going was hey, I just have to finish it. I came this far, you know, and I'm going to get a good job hopefully when I'm done. So, yeah. So in mind, you always had in that and be like, you know, I'm, I'm just looking it at the end, what's going to happen, right? Oh, wow, 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 that's great indeed. Any other advice on the method that you use to start? Like, yes. I, you know, we do a lot of coding. 
yes. a lot of coding. I think in my program we do eleven coding languages. I never do coding in school, so maybe that's something that people should the fundamentals, and then they can apply that for a lot of other things. And a lot of jobs are looking for coding as well. Oh. Yeah. So which which module was hectic in first year? All the modules. Maths is hard. <laughs> Physics is hard. Coding was hard. <laughs> Because uh, sometimes, you know, in uh, engineering, we don't have like majors or minors. Well, especially at Howard. So in third year, they all call modules. We do eight each semester. So that's 16 modules a year in the, in the third year. In first year, it's six, six, so it's 12. Second year, it's seven, seven, so 14. And then your third year, you do 16 modules. You know, some people are doing four modules a year. So it's a bit of a, you know. So, uh, you, but you put through your money now. Oh, how is final year though? It's very nice because I'm not doing much. Yeah. So I just come to campus, I do my work, and yeah. I'm done, I go home. Wow, it's not that hectic. It becomes hectic in the first three years. No, it's not that hectic for me because <laughs> I'm only doing like one module now. Oh. I, I, I set it up that way. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah. So you pushed many modules. Yeah, <laughs> right. yeah. Now you're just doing a few modules, then you're waiting for graduation. Yeah. Students in, uh, are, are watching us right now. Uh, any advice that you can give them that you think it won't make them to drop out and what you know, so that even if they are 200, they will get to find only 200 of them. I think uh, after this degree is where the fun starts. There's a lot of opportunities, and that's the reason to stay. My sister, I'll give you an example. My sister, she's a doctor, doesn't have a job. She can't get a job. She has a, she's a medical doctor, no job. But I, can, I have more opportunities than her. Mm. Mm. So that's Whoa. just something I think about, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. She graduated with medicine? Huh? Yeah. Yo. Yeah, she's a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no? yeah, yeah. You can think yourself that you're not. All right, all right. So, uh, any last words for high school students? High school students learn how to code, do good in grade 11, final year. I mean, final semester, grade 11. And uh, yeah. That's it. How is Durban? You huh? can suggest them to come here. Durban's very nice. The people are very nice. Um, but if you're doing engineering, you're gonna, you might have to go to Joburg. You might have to go to Cape Town. Because Joburg's where it's at. So if you're going to come here, go back. Maybe, you know, stay in one place. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All the best. All the best. We are, wait, we are, we are waiting for graduation. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.